Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. This is the month for Carve December. I try to do it every year. Some years I make it the whole month, some years I don't, but at least I do try. Um, so I have a picture of a doodle that I did in a book. It's this book, I think. It might be this one right here, I can't remember. I took a photo, scanned it into my computer, and I was looking back through things that I really liked, art that I'd made in the past. And I was thinking that I was going to try this one. But I think maybe... Where is it? <laughs> Why are they never where they're supposed to be? Nope. None of those. A little dead gummit. Somewhere in this book. <laughs> Something that I I drew and I really liked it and I thought it would make a great stamp. None of these. These are too busy for that kind of thing. Uh, there's no way I can card that. I am not that good. All right, it's gotta be somewhere around here. <laughs> or not. <laughs> this is the one. So I was thinking about maybe. I don't know how big this is. They're about one and a quarter by, it should be one and a quarter. No, one and a quarter by one and a half. Maybe I should make it one and a half by one and a half. I was thinking about doing a two by two. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do a two by two and I'll do the same design in a two by two. <gasps> I will fast forward through all of this. Wish me luck. I'll be back at the end.
you can see, the light has gotten a little weird in the video right now, but the sun is going down. It's 4.30 and it's already disappearing out of the sky. Um, I'm at a point where I'm trying to decide what to do with this thing. I did it in green because I really wasn't crazy about the way it looked in red. And I, as much as I like the black, I just don't like it all over my fingers. So here it is. Uh, but I feel like I'm going to do something else to it. And I'll show you why. Let me, f let me stamp a couple more. I did gouge the ends here and the end here to give a place to put them together, but they're not perfectly matched up. But I'm, I'm, well, I'm not thrilled. I'm not going to recarve it just because of that. All right, so I'm just going to stamp it with some green. And let's see, which direction am I going? Okay. All right, so when I did it, I tried turning it both ways so that the little gouges on the ends would match. They don't. Doesn't matter which direction I turn it, they don't match. Ta-da! Okay, so there's one that's a little cleaner. This was after the red. I didn't clean the stamp off. And then when you do the repeat, I'm trying to line this up. Because I want this to be a repeating pattern. Just by doing it like this. So now, as you can see, there is this in the middle, which is this and this butted up next to each other, you know, well, this way, okay, this way. So it's this one and this one. I was, I was thinking that either I should measure in here and create a whole nother stamp that would work inside here to put, you know, XYZ inside here. Or do a, um, or just do a small piece. I was thinking about just recreating this and gouging out this and gouging out that and then dealing with the rest of these. Or just make a stamp that was just this size right here to put in the middle. Um, and then I had a thought. Let me show you what I was thinking. So last year when I did December Carve, or year before last, I can't remember which year it was, I showed how I was going to use my stamps on my jelly plate. This is a 5 by 7 And I'm going to get that lid back on. This paper right here is leftover paper from the calendar where I cut the um, numbers, and it was a short page, so I saved all this paper just in case I might need it. So I really like using, oh, what's that? I really like using my rubber stamps, the ones that I carve onto my plate. I think it's so much fun to do it that way. Um, and so I want to show you what I had in mind when I did this. I actually did think about this in advance. I don't want to mash too hard or it's going to put color places I don't want it to be. On the other hand, if you don't mash hard enough, you can't see squat. So I mostly want to see, these are the empty spots right there, so I mostly want to mash down on the center and the edges here because I don't want to make a pattern somewhere else. So that worked out well. Let's do this here. That's a little weird. All right, so then I'm going to try this here again. And as I go through, it, it tends to pick up more paint the stickier it gets, the drier it gets. It picks up more paint, and it does a lot better with picking up paint. 
so you can see the pattern better. There you go. I'm going to continue on. I'm going to do the whole sheet as best I can. Let's do this one here. As you can see, well, maybe you can't. This is very light up here, and this is getting better and better the further I go down because, like I said, the paint is getting drier, and it gets more sticky, and it adheres, adheres to the stamp much better. And I'm not cleaning it off either. So you can see that right there. Let's see how we do here, because this is mostly a blank spot, except for a little bit on the ends. Yeah. All right. Let's do this here. All right, and then I'm going to have to wash this off. I usually take a, a used toothbrush with some um, Dawn dishwashing liquid and scrub them off later after I mess with them on the plate. All right, I didn't think about a second color. Fatui. Um, well, let's just do it. No, because I really want the color to show through. Okay, so... Let me get up and find another color. Ugh. I forgot I need a second color, sorry. Boy, when these things dry out, ooh, they're hard to get on there. So we're just gonna put a teeny amount of paint on here. I don't want a lot of paint on top of these. I tend to get very heavy handed when I put the second coat on. I need a little bit more now. I'm trying desperately to regulate how much paint I put on stuff because, like I said, I do get a bit heavy-handed when I do the paint. Okay. Let me brush this off here. And let's get a peek. Now, the, like I said, these are leftover pieces of paper, so they will not fit on here perfectly, but I don't really care. All right, there we go. Hopefully this is sticky enough. It'll pick up everything with one pull. Although I do like the grungy bits, but I'm hoping that this will work out fine. Oh yeah, it did. Look at that. Oh, nice pull. So I wanted the geometric look, but I think it looks much better as a jelly print than it does a rubber stamp because you can see the block inside. You can see the paint, the original coat of paint through the places that I did not carve. And I really like the way this looks. I think this is awesome. This would be great background paper. So that's why I carve these geometric things the way I do is because I like the way they look on the jelly plate. Where's the rubber stamp? Here it is. I like the way they look on the jelly plate. It's not to create, you know, a one-time print. I will do this print a million times on um, paper. This will make a great big sheet for a book cover. That's what I think. My, my mind automatically goes, oh, this will be a good book cover. This will be a, a book cover on a small book. You do it on both sides. This side's a little more pronounced. All right, so this is day number... Where did I put my book? I'm a little behind, but I, this is how it started out. So this is day number five. So that's it for five. I won't record everything that I, I carve, but I am putting everything that I carve in my carve book so that I have a record of it. These are all, uh, this is 2017, what is this, 2017, let's see, are there any 18s, 19s, 20s in here, I don't even know, oh, these are all 2017s, boy, I love this one, I, I think this is one of my most favorite things I've ever carved, although, I do like this, <laughs> you know, it's like a child, each child has characteristics that you especially love, but you love them all because you made them all. 
These were a lot of fun. Doing the Celtic knot. Ooh, that was kind of a booger drawing it and redrawing it. All right, anyway, so this is my, my stamp book. Oh, wait, what does that say? 2000 what? 22. And I think this is the, this is the one that I did last year where I did all of the um, prints on the jelly plate so I could see what they look like as a jelly print. Some of them turned out a lot better than others. But that's that's my main goal for this year is to do a lot of jelly printing on them for the book so that I can see what they look like as a rubber stamp and then as a jelly print later. I like this one. Some of them I got carried away and I love the books. The one with the books is one of my favorites from last year. There we go. So, you know, you just do what you can when you can. And if you don't make it the whole month, you don't make it the whole month. So what? There's no penalty. <laughs> All right, so that's it for this one. So I will see you guys the next time I manage to find some time to film a carving video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I do appreciate your membership. Membership? No, there's no memberships. I do appreciate your subscriptions. Oh, my word. I've been watching too many people wanting to join their memberships for their channels. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your subscriptions and your watching time. <laughs> See you next time.